Well, you can hear his music on our show every Saturday night. It's called Radio Texas Live with Buddy Logan. And tonight you're going to get to see him perform live in concert at the Electric Cowboy. Right to have the studio with us here. It is Cody Johnson. What's going on, Cody? Man, you're looking at it. We were rolled into town and rolled over here and excited about the show. Well, Cody, is this the first time you've played Texacana? It is. It's actually the first time in this club, this uh, this city. It's, as a matter of fact, I, I think we've only played one or two other shows in Arkansas, period. So this is this is kind of a cool monumental thing for us. Well, Cody, I know you've been out on the road a lot and uh, you've had the opportunity to, to open up a lot for Kevin Fowler. How's that been? Uh, crazy. <laughs> Kevin's one of those guys that I always looked up to and uh, and throughout the last couple of years have really gotten to know him and, and call him a friend. So once you get close to a guy like Kevin Fowler, things start getting a little weird. You start blowing stuff up and drinking <laughs> beer too late into the evening and hearing stories. And it's been awesome, man. He's uh, He and his guys have really taken us under their wing and, and helped us out a lot. Well, fans are really starting to uh, really love your music and uh, love you as a person. And i got to ask you right offhand here. It comes from a uh, little East Texas town. How do you say this town here? <laughs> Sebastopol. Is that what you're I'm looking sorry, at? What was it again? Sebastopol. Sound like you said something else. Yeah, right. It's it's uh it's about it's it, the sign is way longer than uh than other the, the name on the sign is way longer than the actual uh, population. I think it's two eighty nine. Wow. I think wow. Bitty, Lake awesome. Livingston on the on the east side of Lake Livingston, a little bitty town. Well, I'd like to say you know you started out many many years ago. Your dad. Uh, Carl taught you how to play the uh, guitar, and you used to do a little gospel back in the day. I did. Uh, you know, that's that's really where I grew up singing and playing. Is uh, you know, I don't I don't read music, I don't read tabs or charts or anything. It was just all just you know, by ear and singing those old gospel hymns. And I remember my parents used to always tell me, "Don't go, don't go playing in them bars and them honky tonks." You know, so that's the nightlife is is a bad life and all this. And flash forward, you know, my dad was playing bass for me, and it, it I, I look back on those years as now. It, if he hadn't took that chance on me and done that with me, I probably wouldn't be here. So it's pretty cool. Well, I think it's kind of uh, weird here. You had a uh, job. Well, it's not really weird, but it's just uh, it goes with uh, your background here. You uh, worked here at a prison, right? Yeah, I did. I I'd, worked, not in it. No, I, 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 I make that joke uh, a lot on stages. In my family, you either go to prison or you go to work for the <laughs> prison. So we had just as many in one uniform as we did in the other, I think. But, yeah, I, I, I worked there for uh some part time, some full time there for for four or five years, and uh, you know when I met my wife, she she uh, took a couple of jobs and quit school so I could quit working for the state and kind of start chasing this music thing full time, and uh, that was uh, that was six years ago. So it's been a it's been a I, I, that's kind of my motivation. Every night when I get on stage, if I'm tired or if I'm sick or we've been running hard, I think well we could be doing that. So this is we're blessed. Well, Cody, your latest album is called Cowboy Like Me. And uh, you just, uh, me and my kind, reached number one on both the uh, Texas Music Chart and the Texas Regional Radio Report. So congratulations on that. Thank you very much. And that's what you're going to do today, right? Absolutely. You ready to do it? Sure. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Johnson doing his single, Me and My Kind, live in the studio here at Kickman. my old girlfriend Saw her when she walked in Well, her hair's a little longer But she's still looking stronger than sin Oh, I don't care if you buy her a drink Oh, she's not the kind of girl you think Oh, cause back when we were loving she Thought cowboys are something that they ain't. Cause she's over buckles, she's over spurs. Her just a heartache in a pearl snap shirt. And that's so and let go for the last time. No, she ain't just over me, she's over me and my I ruined it for the rest of us When I left her standing in my dust Oh, cause lately she's been hating rodeos in Copenhagen And trust Yeah, she's over buckles, she's over spurs Her just a heartache in a pearl snap shirt And last sword and left She's over buckles, 
she's over spurs to her you're just a heartache in a wrangler pearl snap shirt last on and let her go for the last time she ain't just over me she's over me my kind she ain't just over me she's over me my From his uh, brand new album, Cowboy Like Me, we'll be doing that song tonight, as well as many others. And I gotta ask you uh, real quick here, your big brother here, oh. Nashville based fellow Texan Trent Wilmot, what's he up to these days? Man, he is, uh, you know, he produced my last record called A Different Day, and it started out by it was just he and I demoing songs that we had written together, and I, I didn't even know what a demo session was, you know. And since uh, that album, he, I think he produced uh, Curtis Grimes and uh, Josh Grider. He's doing some work with some other artists up in Nashville, and then we got this Cowboy Like Me project going. And aside from the, I think four or five number ones that he's written, uh, he's just doing a ton of writing and a ton of producing. And he's uh, he's grown a lot. You know, I hate to say that about somebody that's older than me. That's kind of my bigger brother, but he's grown so much that it's it really it's it's a different aspect of another reason why I'm ready to go record another album. Not that I'm tired of this one. Not that I've got so many new songs. It's just it's enjoyable to to be in the studio with him because he's such a great musician and a singer anyway. Did you ever collaborate with him on a plan or anything like that in the future? I, I, you know, I've, I've said that a million times to him. We ought to do a duet, man. We ought to do something and, and get some some of the guys that, you know, the older school guys like Fowler and, and Jared Birmingham and a couple of those guys on there. And, and uh, he, oh, man, you sing better than me. You know, he says his voice is a, a controlled scream. I said, well, it's a pretty controlled scream. <laughs> Johnson, 100% cowboy. Put that in my blog there because, you know, in a day when country music is seems to be more pop oriented. Here's a guy like you that, that comes in with Wranglers and cowboy hats and, and does the cowboy thing. Well, man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Appreciate uh, some good country music. And tonight it will be at the Electric Cowboy. You can get your tickets there at the uh, door tonight. I think the uh, doors are going to open up around 8 or 8.30 tonight. And uh, you're hitting the stage a little bit later on in the evening time. But uh, you want to do something special though, right? Absolutely. We were, we were going to see if... Uh, Anybody would like to get on the guest list tonight, we're going to give away two spots on our guest list and uh, they'll have your name at the door and uh, we'll also have your name at the merch booth over there. So anytime you go see my buddy Colton at the merch booth, tell him your name if you are the winner and you get you a t-shirt and a CD tonight. Are we going to do that uh, for the, uh, what, what caller you want to do, a couple of people or just one person or what do you want to do? Uh, man, let's, uh, let's get, uh, let's get do it for one person plus one. We'll make it where it's a date worthy experience. Uh, okay. Let's pick caller number five. Caller number five, eight seven zero. Seven seven three one zero two five. Call me now. We'll get you on the guest list tonight for Cody Johnson, the Electric Cowboy. Hey, Cody, I appreciate you stopping in here today. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And we'll see you at the show tonight.